Hello, Cougars. This is your principal, Dr. Demick here. The first day of school is August 5th, and we're starting off with distance learning. And we want to make sure that you can access important things like student view. So as a student, you're probably wondering, how do I access my schedule and where do I get my Google Classroom codes? Well, one way is to get on to student view. We actually have two strategies for you to use to get onto student view. The first one is to type in www.psusc.us, hover over parents, scroll down, click on parent view and student view, and just click on this, and then click on I am a student. To sign in, your username is your student ID, which is 13150 and other numbers, and your eight digit birth date is your password. All sixth graders, it's already been set up for you, so you don't have to go through the activation process. Um, seventh and eighth graders, it's the same process as before. If you forgot your password, you can click forgot your password. If you have trouble signing in and it somehow disables your account, you want to email your counselors, Mrs. Wilson or Mr. Butsko at liwilson at psusd.us or mbutsko at psusd.us. So let's get started. I'm typing in my ID, which is a little different. I'm also typing in my case sensitive password. And I'm gonna click login. This is really important. Once you're in student view, you wanna click on class schedule. Now my schedule is not ready today just yet, but on August 3rd, when you sign in to student view, click on class schedule. On August 3rd, you will see your schedule and under room name, you will see all the room numbers along with the Google class codes. And that's what you need to sign on to each of your teacher's Google class codes to be ready for virtual learning from home. So that's one way to access student view. Another way, and sixth graders, you use Clever quite a bit at the elementary level. So it's the same process. You open up your Chromebook, you go to Clever, and in Clever is the Student View app. You want to click on the Student View app, and you will be prompted to sign in. Just like what we did, it's just two different ways to access Student View to get your schedule. And we can't wait to get started with distance learning, and hopefully see you soon. I'm going to go outside, so be sure to remember to wear your mask. Take care and wash your hands frequently. Stay safe.